Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and run Oracle Linux on VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So you can see I'm currently running Poppy Linux, Raspbian which is Raspberry Pi and Mac OS on my VirtualBox. So you can run multiple operating systems on your virtual machine. Now the first thing we have to do is download VirtualBox. So open your Chrome browser and then let's search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox, click on it. And then by the left, click on Downloads. Now select Windows Host since we are installing it on a Windows machine. And it should start downloading. I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to cancel it. Now after downloading it, the installation process is actually very simple just like every other software. If you find it difficult to install then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier covering how to install VirtualBox. Now the next thing we have to download is Oracle Linux ISO file. So open a new tab and then search for Oracle Linux. And now click on the website oracle.com slash linux. Now click on download Oracle Linux. And you can see Oracle Linux ISO image over here. So click on the first link for the ISO image. And then scroll down here, you can see the latest version of Oracle Linux, which is version 9.0. So click on it and it should start downloading. So you can see this file is 8.48 gig. I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. So after downloading Oracle Linux and installing VirtualBox, you can then close your Chrome browser, open your download folder. And this is our Oracle Linux file we downloaded. Now open your VirtualBox. So we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on new up here. Now let's call this Oracle Linux. And then make sure you set the type over here to Linux. And then set the version to Oracle Linux 64 bit. So after doing that, go to the hardware section. And then set the base memory which is a RAM. So I'm going to give this 6 GB of RAM since I am currently running 16 GB on my PC and then give it 3 core processor. Now you shouldn't give over 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer and you won't be able to use your virtual machine as well. Go to the addix section and then set the amount of storage you want to allocate to your virtual machine. So I'm just going to give this 88 gig. I think this should be ok. And then click on finish. Now these are the specs of our newly created machine but we have some other things to set. So click on settings. Now go to system, this is the base memory which is the RAM which we can set whenever we want. Now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128MB. Enable 3D acceleration down here. Now go to storage and then you can see under controller there is an empty disk over here. So click on this disk icon by the right and then click on choose a disk file. Now select the Oracle Linux file we downloaded, you can see it over here, Oracle Linux, R9 and all that. So select the disk file and then click on open, click on ok and we are good. So once we click on start, it should boot into Oracle Linux and we should start the installation. So let's click on start. Now you can just hit enter to proceed with the setup. Now hit enter. Now we can begin the installation. Now if you look closely, you can see we are not able to use our mouse inside our Oracle Linux installation. So we were supposed to make changes to our pointing device before we started. So I'm going to close this and then power off the machine. Now open our virtual box, go back to settings, system and you can see pointing device over here PS slash 2 mouse. Let's change this to USB tablet and then hit OK. Now let's start our machine. Hit enter, hit escape to skip the disk check. So you can see we can now use our mouse inside and outside Oracle Linux. Now select your language, continue, select your keyboard layout over here. Whatever you select, click on done when you're done with that. Now select the installation destination. 
and then select your disk which is over here click on it again make sure it is selected you can see the mark over here and then click on done you can set your time and date if you want but i'm okay with all of this now click on the root password and then set up a root password and then click on done twice and then we can begin the installation by clicking on begin so you should start installing now this may take some time but you just have to wait patiently so it has been successfully installed now click on reboot system And here we go guys, Oracle Linux has been successfully installed. Now let's click on start setup. Next. I'm just gonna skip this online account and then put your details there. Next. Your password. Next. So basically this is how to install and run Oracle Linux on your Windows machine with the help of VirtualBox. Now we can adjust the display because it is not actually showing well at the moment. So just right click on it and go to display settings. And then we can change the resolution to our PC resolution. Apply. And here we go. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.